Now that we migrated to class-based views, let's come back to the key features we want to add in this section. And let's continue with the comments, maybe. Every post should have comments and every user should be able to comment. That means that we'll need a new model, a comment model, which will be related to a post. Every post can have multiple comments, but every comment will only belong to one post. So it will be a one-to-many relation. Therefore, let's go to models py and here add a new class, comment, which inherits from models.model, like the other models as well. And here we can now add our fields. Now it's up to you how a comment should look like. I would say for me here, I want to get, let's say, the name of the user who left a comment. So maybe name this username. And that should be a char field not longer than maybe 120 characters. I also want to get the user email address and therefore I'll set up a field for this as well. And here we can use the special email field, which in the end will be a char field, which automatically validates the input value to be a valid email address though. So I will use the email field here for that. And then of course the comment text itself. And that will be a text field. So a field for a bigger text, which I'll still limit to, let's say 300 characters at most or 400 characters at most. Now, of course it's up to you how you design a comment, but for me, this is a design that makes sense. Now a comment should be related to posts, as I mentioned. And since it's a one-to-many relation and one comment belongs to one post, but one post can have multiple comments, we add this relation field to the comment. For example, for the post, where every post had one author, but one author could have many posts, we added the author field to the post. For comments and posts, it's basically as for posts and authors, and therefore we add the field to the comment. So here I have my post field. And this now is a foreign key, a foreign key where I point at the post model like this. Now on deleting a post, I also want to delete the comments. So I'll set this here to cascade for the on delete names parameter. And I will set my related name here to comments so that on a given post, I can access all comments through a comments field, a comments property on that instance of a post then. So with that, the comment is defined and we can therefore now make and run our migrations. So I'll first of all make my migrations again. And then as a second step, as many times before, we run migrate. And then we can restart our development server. Now the database is prepared, now we need to add a form. Because comments should not be added from inside the admin interface, but from inside our user-facing frontend. Every user should be able to leave a comment. And that's an important differentiation. The admin panel, as emphasized before, is really just meant for us as the owner of this website. Our regular visitors shouldn't have access to that panel. Therefore, we don't want to expose it to our users, of course not, because then they could manage our posts, they could delete our data. We instead want to expose a separate form embedded in our main page, which our visitors see, which our visitors can use to leave comments. And I think such a comment form makes sense on the individual post, so on this single post page for which the users might be commenting. Hence here, I want to add my form in the post detail template. There I got this main area with my post content and below that post content, I now want to add the comment area. For this, I'll add a new div here. And in that div, I want to set up a form where users should enter their comments. And now when it comes to creating a form, 
we of course get various options as we learned throughout the course. We can create it all from scratch on our own, collect and validate the data on our own, or we use the built-in Django support. So let's work on that form next.